In this video now, I'm going to talk about the uh, tranking protocol. So I have two computers here. This is computer 192.168.100.1 is connected to uh, SwitchSW1 through port uh, FastEthanol 0 slash 1, which is a member of VLAN 100. Uh, the second computer 192.168.200.1 connects to port FastEthanol 0 slash 10 of uh, SW1 switch, which is a member of VLAN 200. And the same thing here. Uh, computer 192.168.100.2 connects to uh, switch SW2 through port FastEthanol 01, which is a member of VLAN 100. And uh, the last computer, 192.168.200.2, connects to port FastEthanol 0 slash 10 of uh, SW2, which is a member of VLAN 200. So what we have now, we have VLAN, same VLANs, but uh, across multiple switching platforms. So we have VLAN 100 in switch 1. VLAN 200 in switch, VLAN 100 also in switch 2. We have VLAN 200 in switch 1 and same VLAN 200 in switch 2. What we want to do, we want to allow host in VLAN 100 in uh, connected in switch 1, communicate with host in VLAN 100 also, same VLAN 100 in switch SW2. So in order to do that, we can extend or uh, we can we can expand the VLAN connectivity through multiple switching platforms using Trank link. So Trank link here we connect the two switches through fast through fast Ethernet port 0 slash 24 and then we configure these two ports as a Trank port. So Trank ports as we said earlier is uh, the, uh, they are configured with the IEEE 802.1Q protocol which is going to add a tag field between the source MAC address and the type field in the header of an Ethernet frame. Among the most important information contained in the tag field it will be the VLAN number uh, uh, from where the frame or of the VLAN from where the frame was originated so uh, I go to the switch okay so the switch now I display the uh, VLAN show VLAN brief so I can see exactly uh, the VLAN that I created on the switch we are, I have VLAN 100 which has port fastener 0 slash 1 and VLAN 200 with this port fastener 0 slash uh, 10 so what I will do now Okay, I will change the host name to SW1. Now I will go to port FastEthanol 0 slash 20. 24, sorry. Okay, uh, interface FastEthanol 0 slash 24. And then I will configure this port as a trank port, switch port, mode trank. And now this is a tr it becomes a trank port. Uh, same thing, I will go to the other switch. I will check the other switch, what are my uh, VLANs. I will configure show. VLAN brief, okay, and you see these are the VLAN numbers and the ports uh, which are member of each one of the VLANs. Uh, so now I go to port uh, 24, okay, and I'm going to configure this port as a trank port. So for that, but this model of the switch 3560 uh, supports more than one tranking protocol, that's why I have to specify which tranking protocol I want. So I write the command switch port. Uh, you know, trank encapsulation. Now in the simulation it shows on only one. Uh, Cisco they used to support another uh, tranking protocol which is uh, ISL interswitch label protocol but uh, it is deprecated. Now normally in the new switch you will not see it anymore. You will see only the dot one Q which is the IEEE uh, 802.1Q protocol. So I will put this dot one Q and then switch port mode trank so i'm configuring this port as a trank port now let's check let's see if uh, both ends are uh, tranking i will go to sw1 show interface trank so what are the interface which are tranking so we have faucet and zero slash one the trank mode that the trank mode is on the encapsulation uses 802.1q and the status is tranking so everything is fine so native VLAN is outside the scope of this demo I go to the other uh, switch here I do the same thing show interface uh, trank so here I see w which port is tranking so we have fasten at 0 slash uh, 24 the tranking is on uh, the tranking encapsulation protocol and the status is tranking so everything is fine now from this computer you see uh, 192.168.100.1 I can ping uh, 192.168.100.2 which is the IP address of this computer which is a member of the same VLAN 100 but connected to a different switch so let's see if it works it works it's fine 
um, of course I cannot ping other computers we know that I go to the second computer uh, which is in VLAN 200 and from that computer I will uh, ping I will ping to 192.168.200.2 which is the IP address of this computer which is in the same VLAN 200 okay so this is in the same VLAN but connected to the other switch so like this the trunk uh, protocol allows the uh, extension of the VLANs or expansion of VLANs across uh, multiple switching platforms so now if uh, this computer is connected to VLAN 100 it does not mean that uh, it's only um, restricted to communicate with computers in same VLAN and connected to the same switch you can it can also communicate with other computers in the same VLAN but connected to different different uh, switches or different switching platforms but the most important thing is that switch have to be configured through this trunk links where each end of the trunk link or each port uh, at the end of the trunk link should be configured with the trunk uh, with the trunking protocol like this now uh, we have done this ping let's go now to the uh, switch one and here we can display show mac address table so now mac address table uh, we notice something we notice something so uh, uh, host one uh, or let's say this computer 192.168.100.1 is member of VLAN 100 so these are VLANs 100 uh, first let's ignore these MAC addresses so it's coming from uh, fastsnl 0 slash 1 okay let's uh, ignore this thing let's just concentrate on this MAC address this is this MAC address here is the MAC address of this host so if I do this uh, IP config slash all this is the MAC address 0001 okay 64 EC 5B 3B so it's the same so now what what we learn here we learn that there is another house in same VLAN 100 but this host is reachable across uh, port fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 and we know this port fast ethernet 0 slash 24 is a trunk port this is a trunk port since it is a trunk port it means that the host whose mac address is specified here is a host which connects to a remote switch and this is very important and same story here let's go to 192.168.200.1 since we ping it we ping at this host here which is in the same vlan 200 but connected to a different switch let's go to this host and display the MAC address now this is its MAC address okay now l let's check the MAC address coming from that switch this MAC address which is 0001 now we learn the switch knows that this MAC address belongs to a host that is on the same VLAN VLAN 200 however this uh, MAC address has been received through port fast 0 slash 24 which means that this MAC address belongs to a host which is connected to a remote switch because it was learned through uh, a trunk port and trunk port is used to connect uh, with remote switches and same story here for this SW2 in order to display the MAC address you can just type show MAC but no hyphen just leave a space here and then display and you see the same story same story which means that um, there is a host whose MAC address is 001 etc so I'm talking about this host 192.168.100.1 which belongs to VLAN 100 um, I think this one yes I think there th let's me le let me check the MAC address of this host okay slash R yeah it starts with 007 not 001 so here it is this is the MAC address here you see and this host here this MAC address belongs to a host which is in VLAN 100 however this MAC address was learned through port fast 0 slash 24 which means that it's connected to a remote switch since it's coming from a trunk port and the same situation here with respect to 192.168.200.1 let's see what is the MAC address IP config slash all the MAC address is 0003 so let's go here where is yeah it is here so this is a mac address of host which is uh in vlan 200 and this mac address was learned uh, from port fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 which is our trunk port for the switch sw2 so it is connected to a remote switch 